Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. So this was our last video um, and again as it was inspired by two people, Rachel from Roxy Creations and her Roxy's Weekly Challenge and Heather at Ruby and Pearl. So what I still had a couple of pockets left, but what I did was I put like a wee thumb notch, which was quite a large thumb notch, to make some pockets. And I had one of these left from a previous um, where I was making pockets. So what I want to do now is I want to do some um, journal cards on the same basis as Old the book pages. So I've got some tiny ones. This is the... The Port Chaucer. First of all, um, and I'm not doing any measuring, I'm just folding this over to me what looks like a good journal card size. And we'll measure it because that just looks like, and that's just three and three three quarters by five and a half and what I'm doing here is I'm going to glue this down and these are all going to be different shapes um, and sizes because obviously it's different shape book pages and we'll just run that over there And we'll just put that there. And what I will do is I will put some um, blank paper on. On the back. Just because journal cards are for journaling on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll start with this one. And again, this was the magazine that I was taking from um, the Seth Apter magazine. Um, they had quite a few and I, <laughs> I wished I'd grabbed them all because they were, after I had a good look through, you know, they were, they were quite colourful um, and they had some brilliant. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll... Place that up there. There we are. Might not be the right. a music page. I think we'll use that for something else. I think we'll put that one on there. She's just coming from a walk so she's coming up to see where I am. Oh. She's been up, found the door closed so she's gone back down to tell my husband. <laughs> Right. And we'll just open that one out. 
it. Okay. Let's see what else I've got. And I think we'll do the can I have with that one um, Just take that little bit off. And there we are. And another one. No, I quite like that with that. I'm going to take that off. And we'll put that there. We'll see. Not the greatest straight line. This is just a bit of digital that I've got. So you can use anything to decorate these. Um, I don't even know what digital it came from. Um, it's just been lying about for a wee while, so. And then we've got this one. Yep. Just put that in there like that. Um, 
paper Quite like that, that would be just sort of like the focal point, I think. Yep, so there we have that. We'll put those out of the way, and what we want is some. And this is just a bit of, um, I don't think it's coffee dyed, I think it's cabbage dyed paper because it's got kind of a bluey green tinge to it. Okay. Um, That one's all right, that's been done. That one's all right, that's been done. So it's these. Should be able to get two out of this. Yes, that's that one. And we'll just, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. There you have it. So they're going to text you when they get it. Yeah. That's my cup of tea being delivered and must have been telling me that the chemist hasn't got my prescription. Um, they're going to text me when, I, when it's in. Okay, that's that one, and we want something for this. I'm just looking through this to see we have. And again, it's just digital that's been printed one side, so we can use this. Okay.
And although this Greek book is a new book and it looks like a white page, when you actually put a white paper on it, it's kind of yellowed. So And finally, this one. Um, I think we'll put a bit of this on. This is, it's got spiders on it. That's why I'm using it. And it is um, a glossy. turn that over I think we'll have the holy bit on So we've got that. And one of them, so that one's fine. We can leave that as that. And that would fit nicely in one of those pockets. Um, You know, we'd decorate the pockets up a little bit. But I'm not going to do that now, so we'll just... Um, I could do. Yes. Put some of this German book page on it. Put it around the right way. Okay. And I think we can put the Eiffel we're in that one but we want something on there um what have we got here no um i'm just gonna have a look at these that's labels this one yep and I'm um, just going to bend that over there. 
Love the little bit of music on the bottom. Okay, so we can put that one in there. And this one doesn't need much. Yeah. What about a wee fairy? Now these are some of the um, journaling cards. And I think I'll ink around this one. Right, so I'm just... Yep, and I'll use glitter glue for this because it is a it's a card. And it's decided that it wants to clog up. I'm going to put that there and that's another one that we've got And I was going to take these raggy bits off, but I'm just pulling them off. OK. 
through. And I've got a date stamp here, so we want it's April. April the 8th, 23, 24, and okay, we'll just there and there we are and then with this one what will we do no nope. Some rub ons here. Um, no, just <laughs> just spilt a load of. I think they're too small. And these are just bits. I think these are from Shabby Dabby Doodas. This is family. Yep. We'll have this on here. We've got two, so I'm just lifting that up a bit. Down like that. And that's a green one. And these are vellum stickers that I would have got from Timu. And I'm just putting that over there. And again, just move these to one side. Have a look at what we've done so far. So we've got a little fairy one. Um, We've got this one, 
that I've put in that pocket, but we'll pull it out. And I'm going around the corners. And this one. And then we've got this one. I don't really want to put too much on there. Um, no. I think I'll put that on there because it's got the script and everything and then you know when I decide what journal it's going in I can always you know add a little another little bit just for it to match um put it up a bit Okay, that one I'm not going to change at all because I quite like that one. Um, this one around the corners. And I think I might put that little spring card. Okay, and then last of all we've got this one and I don't know whether I want to put anything on there I quite like the colours on there that would look nice with a little pocket um No, I'm leaving that one as it is. This I've got a little purple Yes, I'm gonna put that on. It was just looking at me as a couple. Um, I 
I think these are Tracy labels or they might be Shabby Tina's from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And it's funny how something just stands out at you. You've seen it time and time again and then all of a sudden you're looking for something and it just comes to you. And it's just the colour that matches that stands out. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, they are Tina's labels from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Because there's with, there's with some other ones as well. That's one of mine. That's a stamp. Actually, quite like that. In fact, Dusty Concord. Just go around this seat. You don't have to use your your vintage photo and your walnut stain. This is Dusty Concord. And I'm going to put this down here. And all the bits, um, all the writing's all about um, mixed media and gel pens and puzzle clouds and things like that. So it, with it being a Seth after, it's talking about junk journals and art and stuff like that. So anyway, that is everything we've got today. So we've got one. going to ink from these two three four five six seven eight and that's eight journal cards that we can pop into our journals and use you can add more bits to them you can write on the back and do whatever and i'll see you in the next video bye